Hi guys, welcome back to Fundamental STEM and to the fourth video in this series of how to draw shapes in Scratch. This is the second one of the triangles. We did the equilateral triangle in the previous one. This one's going to be an isosceles triangle. So let's get started by getting rid of the cat. Head into our library. You probably know the drill by now. Scroll down. Let's grab our pen or a pencil. Click on here. Head into costumes. Let's delete this second costume. Let's drag the box around the pencil and put the tip on the crosshairs. Now let's grab our backdrop. So we're looking for the brick wall backdrop. Okay, grab our backdrop. And in this backdrop, I'm gonna add in a second backdrop as well as I did in, I did this in the previous one, the uh, equilateral triangle. So we're going to do the same thing here. So let's click onto the white screen and get, and get rid of it. Then click onto the white wall or the brick wall and duplicate the brick wall. So we have two brick wall costumes. Now on the second one, we're going to add in some text. So first thing we need to do is to click on the color palette here and just pull that down until we're on black. Click on text, put the text down here, and then we're going to type in this is an isosceles triangle. This is an isosceles, I S O S C E L E S. Isosceles triangle. T or I A N G L E. Isosceles triangle. Click full stop on that. Press return to go down to the next line and then say isosceles triangles have I S O S C E L E S isosceles triangles T O I A N G L E S have H A V E click return here to go down to the next line two sides of equal length two sides S I D E S of equal E Q U A L length L E N G T H. Okay, and stick a full stop there. Now this text, we're going to click off here. We're going to enlarge this text like this, and we're going to pull it down so it's down around here. So it says this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangles have two sides of equal length. Okay, so let's get into the pen and actually draw our isosceles triangle. Click into code and let's start off with an event of when the green flag clicked. Zoom in on the code there, just to make it a bit clearer. Now we've drawn a second backdrop, so that's the first part we need to do. We need to go into our looks and make sure that when the, when the program starts, we're on our wall number one, the first one so that we don't end up with um, you know, uh, the, the writing coming up straight away. I wanted to draw the triangle and then to flash up the text. So next part is some pen blocks, but we don't have our pen blocks. So click on the blue block down there for extensions, click into pen, and here's our pen blocks. Now let's start by lifting the pen off the page. Let's erase any previous work. And then we want a go to. Okay, so where do we want to start drawing from? Well, let's click onto our motions. Here's our motions block. We're gonna have an, an X, Y in here. And the coordinates can be anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. But I want to start drawing, say, here. I still want it to be drawn on the red brick. I don't want it to be down on the gray path down there. So that position looks good to me. So I'm gonna start there. The next part is you have to tell the pen to point in a particular direction before it starts. So the direction we're gonna need is point in direction and it's gonna be 15 degrees, 15 degrees, okay? Because it's gonna start here and zero degrees would be straight up, 15 degrees is just a little bit out. So I wanted to draw up here and then come back down and then across the bottom. So 15 degrees is where we're starting. The next part, we can go back into our pen and we can put in our pen size and our pen color. We could have put them up here as well. That, would, that wouldn't have made much difference. But um, pen size, so I can drop that in there. I'll make that pen size of five. Let's change the pen color to 
what's, what's it currently on 10 I suppose 10 10 will do yep and then we're ready to start drawing so now we need to put the pen down now in the previous videos that we've made where we're drawing the shapes we were able to just keep using the repeat block but because the isosceles triangle has got different length sides different angles and so on we kind of have to spell it out one step at a time so the first thing is going to be from this point it's pointing 15 degrees we're going to have to make it travel up to where we want it to go and then turn a certain number of degrees before it comes back down so we need a repeat block so let's click into our controls pull out a repeat repeat block we will repeat 10 times and we're going to stick a motion block inside there of 20 or a motion of 20. now as i've said before i only do this so that we get the visual effect of the pen gliding up to the position that it's going to go into you could just as easily have moved 200 steps here directly under pen down you could remove this and you could take that move block and you could just type in 200 but the pen would move so fast you wouldn't even you wouldn't even see it it would just be bink 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 and it would be done much faster so i like to slow it down a little bit uh, we could also add a little weight block in here if you wanted to add the effect slow the pen down and make the, make the weight block something like 0 0.1 uh, seconds but uh, I'll let you guys mess around with those settings yourself and see what see what suits you so so we've moved our first and then we're up here we've moved our first position and now we're up at the top so now we need to rotate yeah so we need to turn turn the pen around and the number that goes in here the, the amount of degrees is 151 degrees okay 151 degrees then we have a replica of this so we're going to basically come back down and I'm going to take the turning block away I'm going to replicate this block or duplicate that block we can put it back together with the turning and we can put that duplicated moving block directly below so now we've moved straight 200 turn 151 degrees move straight again so now we're down in the bottom corner once we get to the bottom corner we need to turn again so we're going to turn clockwise but this one is going to be 104 degrees 104 degrees okay now let me see and then we need another moving block so that's going to be the same one again so i could i could pull this apart and, and duplicate this click it onto the bottom let's put that back together like this so it's another moving block but this turning is not required so it's just another one so we've got let me see here we've got the three of them so the first one is moving up along here then turn 151 degrees that's when it's at the tip then the second one is moving back down then when it gets to the bottom it's a move it's turning 104 degrees so down here turns 104 degrees and then another 200 across the bottom but it's not 200 across the bottom because it was 200 on this one and it's 200 on this one because these are the two sides of equal length and the one across the bottom is a shorter side so it's only 10 okay it's only 10. now just for added effect what we're going to do at the end is we're going to say pen up so let's click on our pen lift up the pen lift up the pen and then go to a position to just get the pen out of the way so let's go into our motions blocks and again we're going to set some numbers in the go to block by just simply dragging the pen and dropping it somewhere off here out of the way that's the location of the pen now and then finally click into the looks and switch the backdrop to backdrop 2 okay uh, wall 2 wall 2 okay so I'm gonna zoom out there just for a second uh, this one looks long but it's really not that complicated and you can see because there's a bit more detail in this triangle it's different very there's different uh, measurements shall we say in this one we can't just keep doing it with a repeat block like we could use with the with the with the equilateral one so we had to actually spell out the different sizes uh, of, the, of the sides length of the sides and we had to put in different angles so let's see what this one looks like I'll go big screen here and we'll kick on the green flag okay and our pen is not in the position we wanted it to but you know you get the general idea 
So guys, that's the second of the triangles. One more triangle, lots more shapes and lots more fun graphics to come. Remember to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.